Today, on iPon 70, Divalito for the virtual line. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. If it's your first time here, we are an espresso centric channel. We deal with the original line and the virtual line of Nespresso. If that is what you're looking for, you have found the right channel. For my returning Podhead family, any and all announcements will be at the end. But without further ado, well, we have to introduce Rick here. Rick is my uh, brother-in-law visiting. He will be our guest taste tester for today. So let's get started and let's take a look at what they say about Divalito for the virtual line. Divalito, the aromatic profile. The long pre-wedding of Di Levito helps to extract the intensely roasted Robusta coffee in this blend. So we know the Robustas always have a little bit more bite to them. I think that sounds good already. Thanks to a slow flow and a high extraction temperature, the strength and deep intensity are balanced with a smooth texture. We go up here, we look, we have an espresso, 1.35 ounces and intensity 11. That is going to be a powerful cup of coffee or I should say espresso shot. So let's take a look at the pods. Oh, that's a nice dark, a little, little bit damaged there. Yeah, kind of a neat looking pod there. Alrighty, there's your pod. So it's kind of almost a deep dark, almost like a royal blue, would you say? And then we have uh, De Levito on the bottom. I love them being labeled. Deep intensity and balanced. De Levito for the virtual line. Let's go brew a shot. All right, let's go round one. Let's get this shot going. I was a little bit surprised it didn't have an overly intense smell coming off of it while it brewed. Not sure what that smells like. I kind of almost has like a, a wood smell to it. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's give it a taste. All right, let's give this one a taste. That's definitely a stronger coffee. Okay. Holy cow. It's definitely a kick. <laughs> oh man. If, it want, if you want to wake up, there you go. Wow, that one's got a lot of bite to it. Um, it's got a little bit of a, I don't know what that initial taste is. It's got like a wood taste to it. I don't remember reading that in the description, but, uh, yeah, just a strength intensity. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to figure out what the aftertaste is. The first initial taste is like, kind of like a, like a, to me, like a wood taste. It's got like a deep, like kind of almost like a, yeah, like a wood taste, like almost like yeah, a, it does. Like a barbecue wood taste, sort of. I can taste the wood taste. Yeah. But I'm trying to figure out what the aftertaste is. I don't know what the aftertaste is. It's got like, it, it's not unpleasant in any way. This has got quite a bit of bite to it though. I don't detect that the acid is that high, but to me, it tastes like the, and it could be just a little bit of the intensity mixing with the bitter. I'm going to say the bitter is going to hit probably around three moving into, cause I still feel it like I've taken a couple of sips and I can still feel it on the roof of my mouth and like kind of going down my throat. It's like got a little bit of maybe like almost like a burning sensation. I mean, it, it's, it's potent. I think this one will play out pretty nicely with milk because the aftertaste isn't wood. What do you think the aftertaste is? I don't know exactly. 
Yeah, I can't pick apart what that after, what the aftertaste is. It's got a distinct wood taste up front. There's something, man, that was a tough, that's a tough one. But I think it warrants let's uh, doing round two. So I think let's put this with a little bit of milk, see how it plays out that way. So let's go round two. Let's go brew another shot. All right, so we're gonna get round two going. I'm gonna get the pod going over here. What are we gonna add to this, Rick? So we're gonna add uh, two ounces of milk or 59 milliliters. We're gonna add it right into the frother here. And I think we're gonna go with uh, medium froth on this one. We'll let those finish and we'll be right back. Our milk has finished. This is one of my favorite parts, putting it together. Loving, looks so nice. You can see already so quickly the separation in there. So this one's got a little bit of oil, which probably is why it hangs on your tongue so long. That is a very decent oil layer for that small of a shot. So yeah, let's go give it a taste. Hmm, boy, whatever the first initial wood taste was has now, for me, moved quite a bit back. And whatever the aftertaste was has now moved forward. Interesting, it. I think it tamed down the initial bite quite a bit. A lot, a lot, yeah, yeah. That initial, um, and it's not lingering as much on my tongue anymore. It feels more like it's just yeah. kind of giving you a shot and going by. Boy, I wish I could pinpoint what that secondary taste is. Hmm. I got, I, I'm going to see if maybe just a little bit, I'm going to try, I'm going to add just a little bit of sweetener to this and see how that plays out in this coffee here. So again, not an endorsement of the Da Vinci line of syrups, but we got a new addition. Uh, a lot of you see me add sweetener to it, and this is the new sugar cane sweetener. So we're gonna start using this one. And I would normally, for something this small, I'm only gonna put like a half a pump. So we're just going to do a half a teaspoon in it and see what that adds to this. All right, let's give this one a taste. Eh. I think I liked it. It reminds me of a, is that, sec I think the secondary flavor is leather, because now it reminds me of a shoe. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know why coffee reminds me of a shoe, but it, if you can take a smell and equate it to a taste, when I added this in, it, it, I don't know what it did, but it brought it down enough that the taste I'm tasting is like, <laughs> again, not brand specific, but it's like a new white Nike tennis shoe. <laughs> that's, that's what it, that's the, the taste I'm getting now for the, it tastes like kind of like a, le what do you think it tastes like with the sweetener in it? Well, I'm not getting that shoe. <laughs> Sometimes I have <laughs> bizarre descriptions. <laughs> I equate smells to tastes, but uh, you don't tell what do you taste instead of a shoe. I definitely taste the sweetness in it. Yeah, know. it's it. I don't know that this helped. No, I kind of liked it. I liked it better before. I think. Although I think it kind of helped me maybe pick apart what that other flavor was. Now I'm oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to this one. Oh, it's cold, but. I think that's what that secondary flavor is. Yeah, I think that's what that secondary flavor is. Try, it's terrible, it's cold. But uh, try that and then think of leather in, as the aftertaste. Yeah, it's strong as... <laughs> I know, that has got... That's got a bite. <laughs> this has got bite. Man, does that have bite. I'm kind of wondering if... What do you think? Yes? No? Maybe a woodsy. 
a woodsy leather. Leather. <laughs> leather. It's a a woody piece of tennis shoe. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted. I think this one might play out really well as an ice drink. And I'm kind of tempted to turn this into an ice drink with a little extra milk. Now that I think it's got a little bit of a woody leather taste to it, I think chocolate is going to play well with this flavor profile. So I'm gonna do this one off camera, but let's see what we get as an iced coffee because I think the strength of this is gonna stand up really well to more milk. So I will be right back. Oh, it's so pretty. So what we did was we used our standard 20 ounce cup, filled it up to our normal line with ice, eight ounces of milk. We put it on the cold frothing mode. So we get that wonderful creamy texture. Four pumps of our regular sugared Da Vinci chocolate. So yeah, let's stir this up and give it a taste. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Try that. Try that. Oh my goodness. That's a good. <laughs> <laughs> that is... That is, that's really good. It's got a good chocolate. Let me, let me pick it apart just a little bit for you. So we got a, a nice sweetness with the chocolate still. Still just a little bit of the woodiness is coming through. Although for me, it, it's way, way, way in the back. But now, oddly enough, the leathery taste has moved forward just a little bit more than it was when it was in here. But that is really, and the coffee stands up really well. That's a, that's not bad. Four pumps of chocolate if you want it sweeter. Uh, for me, I probably would go down to two pumps of chocolate personally, just because I tend to like a little less sweet ice drinks. But that's, yeah. uh, that's good. It's really good. That is really, mm. really good. It's a lighter texture. It's not so heavy like the Intenso was the other week that we turned into an iced coffee. Um, it's a lighter texture, so it's gonna be good and play better for summer. When it's hot outside, it's gonna have that lighter, not so heavy uh, hit that the Intenso had. And that's, that's a nice uh, iced coffee drink. Let's take a look at what they're doing here. Oh, I guess I should have just read a little bit farther. Oh, oak, yeah. oak, wood, and, and leather. leather. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it has leather in it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, and the creamy, t okay, I guess I should have just read just a little bit farther. Um, well, at least my taste buds weren't too far off. It wasn't a Nike tennis shoe, but it was leather. All right, looking up here at what they're doing. Um, $8.50 a sleeve or 85 cents a capsule. Uh, they're saying aromatic notes, spicy and roasted. I think the spicy actually plays out also on your tongue and a little bit in your throat, intense and powerful. 100% agree. So where does this one land? They mentioned basically it as an espresso shot and on their site they mentioned turning it into some of the uh, uh, milk drinks and stuff like that but we have to judge it primarily on the shot. As a shot I really like it. It might be a little bit much for most people. Mm -hmm. I think think they're gonna be taken back with how powerful this actually is. Obviously you saw how the rest played out, but based on that, I think I'm gonna give this guy four out of five pods. It is pretty versatile. It's not as amazing as the pod that's making a comeback, Il Cafe. It's not as amazing as Napoli for the original line, but it is a really, really good pod, that intensity, that ability to cut through the milk and still present itself is there. And for those reasons, I think it deserves four out of five pods. What do you think? 
yeah, if you like a strong uh, bite, strong cup of coffee, then that, that's good for you. Yeah. That'll bring us to a close of this week's video. Thank you so much for your time. If you've made it this far, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Friday. I hope you enjoyed the duo taste test. It was kind of fun and something different for us. <laughs> equipment malfunctions, <laughs> all kinds of things. Uh, speaking of equipment malfunctions, our gimbal has seen its last video. So we will have to replace it by uh, next week's video. And speaking of that, how is that made possible? Through all these fine folks, they are my patrons. They are amazing people that support this channel and make much of what we do possible. And I thank them each and every week. And I thank you this week again. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. It means the world to me. If you would like to support the channel, join us over at patreon.com forward slash IPON70. It's the same as the YouTube channel and you can support us for as little as a dollar a month. Speaking of that, we have a live stream coming up on July 25th at 2 p.m. Arizona time. That will be our whatever you want to ask. You can ask me questions. We're going to do a uh, something unique that we've never done before. So that'll be happening on that live stream. And uh, we'll just have fun with it. I don't know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. Who knows how long it's going to go. We're just going to fire up and go. A lot of you were excited about the news for the Ill Cafe. I was also. That is outstanding news. I hope the gentleman was not pulling my leg because a lot of you said you're using your last pods now knowing that you can get it again. Don't blame me, blame them if, I'm, if it's wrong. <laughs> but uh, I, I believe what he told me was accurate and we should have again, starting on July 20, 21st, we should have those new pods hitting. But until next Friday, have a great rest of your day. Today. <laughs> Today. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> that will bring us to the... <laughs> I messed up already. I do it. <laughs> I do it. I've screwed many things up. <laughs> That'll bring us to a close to this week's video. <laughs> <laughs>